Hi, Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. For this project, I had a harebrained idea, and that was to make a puzzle in a coaster or a trivet. So I guess when you're waiting for something else to happen with the trivet, you can take the puzzle apart and put it back together again. I don't want to do that right now, because it takes a while. It actually is easier than you think, other than the laser work, but as this is a fairly simple bowl, but with a laser. So let's turn this laser cut coaster or trivet puzzle. For the puzzle tray, I cut off a six inch square piece of hard maple. After finding center, I also marked off octagon sides to facilitate rounding it off. Then with a bit of double stick tape, I pressed it against a faceplate. Maybe I could have gone without the tape, but it does give me a bit of security. Now the bottom side is pressed against the faceplate. With the corners cut off, I can quickly round it off with my bowl gouge. The next part I could have turned without tape, but I like the security it gives while I cut a large mortise with a box scraper. Just to give it a bit more grab, I form a slight dovetail with the skew. Now reverse the tray to present the bottom side while the mortise will hold it securely while I tool the bottom side. The bottom side is simple, a shallow mortise in the middle, a fairly flat bottom, and a side profile. All this is similar to trays in many bowls. I start with the mortise, making sure it is large enough for a chuck in expansion mode. Then switch back to a gouge to taper from near the rim to disguise the depth of the mortise. Finally, the side flare. Since the wood is securely mounted, this is a good time to sand this bottom side and apply wipe-on poly. With the poly dry, I reverse the tray onto that shallow mortise. The live center will provide security while I start the hollowing process. There's not a lot of wood to remove, so it goes quickly with the bowl gouge. Then remove the live center and smooth out the center with a box scraper. The center will accommodate the puzzle, so that portion is squared off to about the depth that the puzzle will need. I am particularly careful to thin down the bottom without cutting through it. Multiple measures, to be sure. Sand and apply wipe-on poly to this side also. Meanwhile, for the puzzle, I prepare a thin piece of maple again. It is thin enough already, but still I need to mount it with double stick tape and sandwich it between two faceplate so I can focus on fitting it into the center of the tray. I sneak into the fit. I do not want to overshoot and be too small. The laser curve will make it more loose anyway. And just like the other tray piece, this is a great time to sand and apply wipe on poly. Both sides separated by enough time to dry. It is ready to toast in the laser. 
At my computer, I scraped a puzzle design from the web. It required a lot to clean it up to make it laser ready. Plus, it was too consistent. I changed most of the interlocking shapes for more interest and less chance to fit a piece to the wrong spot. Fortunately, this is easy on the computer, albeit a bit tedious. I'll keep this design as part of my library. Over to the laser, this is a 40 watt LED laser with enhanced smoke exhaust, an absolute necessity. To reduce smoke staining, I covered both sides with tape. My biggest problem is to align the, wo the wood with to the laser. A piece of cardboard, also cut on the laser, provided a great fixture. The bottom side has the most exposure to smoke, looks like the tape did its job. But then I have to strip off the tape, now in a lot of pieces. Woo! The tape is gone. With interlocking pieces, I can hold it vertically from one piece on the side. This puzzle trivet or coaster will be a lot of fun. It may never have something set on it. It can be challenging because it looks the same on both sides. Still, not so many pieces to make it impossible. A bit of turning, a bit of technology. Mix it up, harebrained, you be the judge. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe on my website as well as on YouTube. When you subscribe to my website, my notifications are more reliable than YouTube's. Please tell your friends about my weekly videos. I appreciate your comments and questions. Please wear your full face shield whenever the lathe is running. As usual, I nag, but I hope to save your life and your eyesight. Once wood flies, dodging it is not an option.